in this video we will see how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam as shown in the figure now the reactions r a and r b we have already calculated in the previous video so the, the link of this particular video is given in the description box so r a is 6.667 and r b is 13.333 kN and the udl is of 10 kN per meter acting for 2 meter length now first we will draw the shear force diagram. The conventions which we have used for shear force diagram calculations are upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. Now let us start with point A. So here there is a upward acting reaction Ra and upward forces we are considered as positive. So shear force at point A will be 6.667 kN positive between a and c left or exactly at c there is no other force that is acting so whatever is the force that is acting at a the same will be acting at left of the c as well as at c so that we have indicated over here that is shear force at c left and shear force at c both are same because no force is acting between a and c so c left means just at the left of the c and c means exactly at c so exactly at C, even though there is a 10 kN per meter UDL, but it is a starting point. So 10 into the distance will be 0 and overall distance is 2. Now, shear force at point D. So we have to take into consideration all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of D. So RA is acting in the upward direction, so that is positive. And 10 into 2, that is uniformly distributed load, which we have converted into point load. So that value comes out to be minus 13.333 kilo Newton. Just at the left of the B, without consideration this, without considering this reaction RB, there is no other load that is acting between D and P. So whatever the shear force that is there at D, the same will be at left of the B, that is B left, will have same value as that of the shear force at D, that is minus 13.333 kilo Newton. But exactly at point B, there is an upward acting reaction of 13.333 as it is upward acting to this minus 13.333 will add this positive value of 13.333 so that will be 0 kN. Now let us draw the shear force diagram over here. So first we will start with point A. Shear force at A is 6.667 at C left is also same and C is also same. At D, it is minus 13.33 and then becomes 0. So these values we have indicated over here. So at A, it is 6.667. C left and C, it is same. Then at point D, it is minus 13.333. Left of the B, it is same and then becomes 0 exactly at point B. Now, this is the point where there is a point of zero shear. So you can see it crosses from positive to negative that is positive 6.667 kN and minus 13.333 kN. So this is known as the point of zero shear as you can see because this is our baseline and it is having zero shear stress. So we have to find out what will be the value of this point of zero shear. So we have extrapolated this particular on our main beam and let us call this as our section XX acting at a distance of X from the left hand support or you can say from point A. So from point A it is at a distance of X. Now if this distance is X and this distance is 3 then this remaining distance is X minus 3 which is very very important for us. So again see this is X and this value is 3 meter. So this will be X, X minus 3 will give you this particular value. Now shear force at this section is 0. Consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of section XX. So there is a reaction RA acting in the upward direction. So that is positive. And 10 into X minus 3 that is the uniformly distributed load. But it is acting in the downward direction. So 10 into X minus 3 is UDL which we have converted into point load. Now shear force at XX is 0 as indicated over here. So we have put 0 over here on the left hand side. Now transfer this minus 10 into x minus 3 term on the left hand side, it will become positive. So 6.667 divided by 10 will give you the value of x minus 3. 
transfer this minus 3 on this side so it will become plus 3 so x is equal to 3.667 meter from a so from the left hand support this distance x is 3.667 meter where shear force diagram will change its sign and the value of the shear force will become zero at this particular point now we will find out the bending moment first at this section xx so 10 into x minus 3 is the union which we have converted into point load and it will be acting at the center of x minus 3 load so x minus 3 distance so it is x minus 3 upon 2 now we will take bending moment about this section xx this is the section xx consider all the forces which are present on the left hand side of this so ra will cause the clockwise moment as we have already seen in our previous video so this will cause the clockwise moment so it is positive whereas this particular force it will cause the anti clockwise moment over here that is 10 into x minus 3 and the perpendicular distance is x minus 3 upon 2 so force multiplied by perpendicular distance but it is negative so substitute the value ra is 6.667 x is 3.667 10 as it is value of x is 3.667 and value of x is 3.667 so calculating we will get the value of this particular bending moment at section xx that is nothing but point of zero shear is 22.223 kN meter now we will draw the bending moment diagram the conventions which we are used for bending moment diagram calculations are clockwise moment they are considered as positive and anti-clockwise moment they are considered as negative now we know that at the end point of the simply supported beam the bending moment is zero so bending moment at a is zero bending moment at b is also zero so now we have converted the udl into point load so 10 into 2 is the udl and it is acting at the center of 2 meter length that is 1 meter now bending moment at c so point c consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of c on the left hand side of c there is only one force that is a reaction and it will produce clockwise moment about point c so it is positive so ra into perpendicular distance between a and c is 3 substitute the value of ra and multiply it by 3 you will get 20.001 kN meter in between there was a section xx and we have already calculated bending moment at that particular section as 22.223 kN meter now important point is to find out bending moment at this point D. Consider all the forces on the left hand side of D. Now this RA will produce clockwise moment about point D and perpendicular distance between A and D is 5 meter. Then this will produce anti-clockwise moment. So 10 into 2 will produce anti-clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance between this point up to D is 1 meter. So those values we have indicated over here. Substitute the value of RA into 5 minus 10 into 2 that is 20. So we will get bending moment at point D as 13.335 kN meter. All these values we have indicated on our diagram. Now between C and D there was a UDL so therefore there is a parabolic curve and at section XX the bending moment is maximum. So that is indicated by this 22.223 kN meter. So in this way, we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed loop. Thank you very much for watching.